This is the Lawrence County Sportsnet, powered by LCAP. About to bring gold back to Lawrence County. Your home for the County of Champions. And how sweet it is! A state gold medal for the Union Scotties! And the Mechanic Lancers are your 2A softball champions. The trophy lifted high. The 10th seed Union Scotties are WPIAL champions. And not a Cinderella story, a championship story here. And your 2023 WPIL 2A girls champion, the Shenango Wildcats. The pitch from Bruce, here it comes. Look at this! Union wins it! The Union Scotties have rallied to win the WPIAL championship. The top local athletes and the top sports moments all featured here, live or archived, at lcsportsnet.com. Down inside and Ollie Oop, the young gun! She'll strike it. And score! Featuring over 100 broadcasts of county events in over a dozen sports. Your voice for Lawrence County Sports. The gold ball headed home to Newcastle. This is the Lawrence County Sports Net. Hey, we're live from Shenango High School. It's Brianne high school Alicia. softball here in the Lawrence County Sports Network today. The, Nesha the Shanik the Lancers eight, take Kennedy on the Shenango Wildcats. Good every Next afternoon, everybody. My name's Lee Moan, Moan along with my brother Jay Moan. Jay, this broadcast today Next being brought to you by Declan Stream. It's a nonprofit with a shared vision of inclusivity, right community, fielder, and well-being of our Cooper residents, Buckle. regardless of their abilities or challenges. They Back broke ground on a new playground here in Shenango Township that will break barriers, forge connections and, and lay the foundation for, the for a better tonight. tomorrow but what a great cause here for Declan's dream jay i'll tell you what is it's a lot the of I'm, with the weather i'm glad we got this delayed. game on this morning i'm sitting there thinking this game's only going to get on because of the weather but looks like we're going to get the chance to play it looks pretty good uh, cause the, with the, the skies here rain staying north of here north and west of here which is a great thing but uh, got a great cause here today. Two very good teams, and and uh, Nishanik at two and O, Shenango at one and three. Let's go over our starting lineup, Jay. I'll let you take on the visiting Nishanik Lancers. Okay, for the Nishanik Lancers, number five, Molly Anderson is left field. Jade Nogue is center field. Addie Fry is pitching. Gabby Quinn is third base. There is no Gabby Perot is catcher. Abigail Measle is first base. Kaylee Biondi is shortstop. Ali Giordano is second base. Catherine Nativio is right field. And in the, Shen the Shenango defense can be Kennedy Lynn. She's going to be on the mound. McKenna Emmerich behind the plate. Reagan Lynn at first base. Zoe Othie at second base. Emma Herb at short. Brianna Alusha. She's your third baseman from left to right. Gabby Moore, Cadence Christopher, and Cooper Buckle. Our officials today, Mr. Dave Greer and the one and only Anthony Stanley which we'll get on him uh, quite a bit. His uh, dad, the famous uh, Mark Stanley from Union and amongst the many brothers who played basketball, Anthony into the official, we've seen him do some uh, basketball also. He's getting into football, so it's good to see him out here. I don't, I've never seen him before, Lee, but okay, I'll get along with him, get on, get on too, if you want me to. Yeah, again, for, for more information to see how you could help in Declan Stream, you can call Dom Joseph, 724 Seven three zero nine five zero six at seven two four seven three zero nine five zero six or email DeclanStream at gmail dot com. Well, they have their pregame meeting. We're going to take a quick pregame break ourselves. You're watching high school softball here in the Lawrence County Sports Network, powered by LCAP. <laughs> No two companies create the same way. Toshiba empowers the art of business by uniquely enabling businesses to work with tools designed specifically for them. In a constantly evolving world, business communication must be agile, efficient, and fast. Toshiba is the company that helps you manage it all, from paper to digital to screen and back again. Toshiba, empowering the art of business. For more than 120 years, people have been relying upon Martindale Hubble's AV preeminent rating to select their attorneys. 
If you're involved in a workers' compensation situation, you should do the same. LG KG has been AV rated for over 40 years. Thank you for calling Axe. Where can we take you today? To work, to the store, to Grandma's house. Axe can get you there, but it's much more than a ride. It's a joy ride. I'm helping people. I'm getting them out of their house. I'm taking them to their doctors, to the grocery store. They say I'm entertaining. Okay, we laugh, we joke, we sing, we tell stories. They're like family to us. Even if it's the same day, to schedule your joy ride, call Axe today. If you're looking for quality concrete services, contact the experienced professionals at Doran Concrete. Our company is family, locally owned and operated, and has been serving the community for over 30 years. Get residential or commercial concrete services for any size job. Our skilled professionals offer prompt and reliable services at an affordable price. We believe in the principles of honesty, integrity, and reliability. Get in touch with us for exceptional concrete services at prices that you can afford. When the high school season heats up, make sure you have the best gear to support your school. Head to the Red Zone on Wilmington Road in the Shannon for all your county sporting apparel needs. From sporting goods to custom apparel to embroidery and more, the Red Zone has it all. Quality gear for all eight schools in the County of Champions. Stop by and enter the Red Zone or visit them online at theredzonesports.com. Score big at the Red Zone. And welcome back here to Shenango High School, getting ready today for today's matchup between Nishanik and Shenango. Nishanik mentioned coming in with a record of only 2-0. and They have yet to give up a run yet this year, Jay. Scored 26 runs in those two games, coming off a 15-run no-hitter against Aliquippa. Shenango coming in with a record of 1-3 and on the year, they're, but they're 1-0 and in section, so... Laurel, Nishanik, Riverside, and Shenango, all four teams are 1-0. And then There's New Brighton, Aliquippa, and Freedom with no victories. Uh, Coach Amy Dream Delaney for the Shenango, Lan or Shenango Lancers. The Shenango Wildcats, she's in her second year here, but it's her second stint here at Shenango High School. She coached previously from 2006 to 2016, stepped back, and then decided to come back. Now she's a math teacher here at Shenango. And then Jackie Lash... What a job she's been doing since she's in her seventh year here. She's a cyber school mentor here at Shenango High School. Nishanik last year, they set the WPIL record for the for consecutive wins with 48. And unfortunately, we were on the broadcast that broke that streak, unfortunately, in the semifinals last year of the state playoffs. That was a real rough game for for Nishan, because couldn't get anything to go right for him that day. Yeah, and just the, the fielding wasn't there, a lot of mental mistakes, and just unfortunately, just like you said, just a, a bad time to have a bad game. Of course, when is there a to bad time, I guess, but especially in that situation. But they're battling back again, but Jack, Coach Lash has been doing a phenomenal job here at Nishanik High School. Weather has not been kind to Declan's dream. Their groundbreaking ceremony in November, it had to be moved indoors to inclement weather. Now today's weather, thank God we got this in. It didn't, wasn't sure, but we did, are going to make it get it in. It's made things difficult as well, but the spirit of powering through and finding a way again continues. For all the rain, this place is beautiful. The field is really good Miley shape. I'm surprised. Anderson. Our starters were brought to you by Doran Concrete, our defensive alignment that we uh, gave you earlier. And we'll give it the bottom of the first inning, sponsored by Medor Bonner Law. Our first pitch, sponsored by Penn Ohio Bottle Water Company. As we get set for softball here at Shenango High School. Nice crowd on hand. Stepping in is Miley Anderson. First time we get to see Miley J. She did not play a lot last year. Miley took seventh this winter in the seventh in, uh, in the indoor track championships in the 60 meters. So this is why she's batting leadoff because she's got a ton of speed. She takes the first pitch ball. Third baseman for Shenango is in close, which you can see why. She chokes up as soon as the first pitch came. 
There's next pitch. Gets the bunt down, it goes foul. So we mentioned Gabby Lynn on the mound with 4.67 ERA, 18 innings pitched, 22 strikeouts. The good sign though, she's only walked two. So she's got good control here early on. Comes the one one. That's a pie ball two. And I'm sure there's a few fans out there saying the scoreboard's not working. <laughs> but they tried to get it hooked up, unfortunately, a short of some sort, so they decided to go against it. So here comes the two one. Gets the bunt down. Lynn's gonna field it and throw and gets the out call. By about a half step, good play there by Kennedy Lynn, Batting Jay. Second for the Lancers, time. The center fielder, number Pitcher one. Took her time Jaded. with the ball okay. and threw strike to first base. And in between innings, I'm going to ask Mr. Dawson to turn my hear up so I can hear you a little bit better, Jay. Okay. Jade Noge steps in. One out here at the top of the first inning. And Jade can fly also. I can remember her from last year. She's a little bit of power, too. More than you think for her size. All the sisters and Erilyn and Aaliyah, too, all, they, they have surprising power. You know, they had that great speed up pitch up and in goes 2-0. and oh. they, Great speed, but they can they can kill you with the bat. And you see left fielder um, Gabby Moore playing in, but I don't know if I'd be playing there because she's got some surprising power towards left field. She can't, she can't go that way. Count 2-0. Yeah, it gets the corner. Looked like a change up early. Count goes to 2-1. Just getting started here from Shenango High School. First softball game of the year for me. And also me. Comes the 2-1. There's a shot right back up through the middle. First hit of the game for Jaden Noge. Pitch right down the middle, and she took it right up over the pitcher's head in the center field. One and of the safest places to hit it. The Lancers, the and bring up the eight, ever, Addie ever, Fry. ever dangerous Addie Fry. Seven home runs last year, 31 RBIs. She batted 478 last year. <laughs> and she hit some shots during the year. And Gabby Moore still playing shallow in left field. Mm. And Noge takes off. And she's gonna slide in safely. Gets her stolen base. First pitch was a ball. Now, see, this opens up first base. You wonder, you gotta be very careful here to Addie Fry. Of course, you got Gabby Quinn behind her, <laughs> which is also a power threat. Comes the 1-0. That's way up outside and a wild pitch, and Nogay will take third easily. Nogay's speed come through there. Actually, a count is one and one. Comes the 1-1. One, one. Inside. It's just a little high and inside, 2-1. We're sitting right behind home plate in a nice dry press box, which we greatly appreciate here <laughs> from Chenango High School. I guess I'm really impressed with how good this field looks for all the rain they go out in the last week or so. Comes the 2 1 that's fouled up out of play. Yeah, I was on the golf course yesterday and kind of wet in, in some spots. Of course, if you're in a fairway, it wasn't bad. That's the problem. <laughs> Not in the fairway, not so much. So you're getting, getting your golf swing down then, Lee. Yeah. Swing and a miss, strike three. And it goes back and it's going to be a strikeout. No gay trying to come home and she'll slide in safely. So a strikeout for Addie Fry. She completely missed them. Unfortunately, catcher McKenna Emmerich missed that. Missed that. And Noge takes Lancers, advantage of that, and gets the, the one nothing lead. So not an RBI for Addie Fry. Probably a pass ball, I would think, on I, that. It looked like a pass ball to me. Yeah, so a wild pitch, pass ball, and a stolen base gets Jaden Noge home as Gabby Quinn steps in. 
Takes a strike inside, but was a strike. Change up there, swing, swing through it. That's the third nice change up she's thrown to the first three batters, four Gab batters. Gabby Quinn, only a junior. Only three seniors on this Neshanik team, so they're gonna be around a while. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Well, Addie Fry, only a junior. Pitch outside, your three seniors listed on the team as Ali Giordano, Gabby Parad, and, Ab and Ab Abigail Measle. Yeah, you know, your three seniors. So, but more importantly, you get the pitcher coming back. That's the key. Swing and a miss, strike three. Good pitch. After one so one run, play, one hit. One, no errors and nobody left at the end of a half inning. It's a one nothing to Shannick. We'll keep things here for our starting lineup again. We'll just go run through those real quick, Jay, for the Shenango Wildcats, sponsored by Doran Concrete. For, for Emma, Emma Herb is on a shortstop. Zoe Offie is second base. Brianna Alucia is third base. Kenny Lynn is pitching. McKenna Emmerich is catcher. Reagan Lynn is first base. Cooper Buckle is right field. Candace Christopher is center field. And Gabby Moore is left field. And for your Medor Bonner Law defense, Addie Fry, we mentioned on the mound. Gabby Parades behind the plate. Abigail Measle at first. Ali Giordano at second. Callie Biondi, she's your shortstop. Gabby Quinn at third. From left to right, Miley Anderson, Jaden Nogay, and Catherine Nativio. And today's broadcast being brought to you by the Declan Stream. Declan, he was born with microcephaly, a condition that results in newborns having a smaller head size, and as a result, delayed or inhibited, inhibited brain development. She's able to walk, but with the use of bulky walkers and wheeled trainers that limits her ability to enjoy public playgrounds that aren't handicapped accessible so that's why they're having this uh, fundraiser here for her today for, with the Shannon and, and Shenango for more information to see how you can help in Declan stream please call Don Joseph at 724-730-9506 that's 724-730-9506 or email Declan stream at gmail.com go ratty fries uh, pitching statistics if you would there Jay in the two games <laughs> Six innings, six innings pitch, no hits, no runs, Emma no Herb. earned runs, one base and ball in 15 strikeouts. And a record it's, of 2-0 and oh now. Yeah, between her and Addie and Abigail Measle, they have yet to give up a hit this year in nine innings. So that's pretty good. We'll see what happens today. Emma Hopefully. Herb will start off. Hopefully Shenango can get some hits together. Herb, first pitch swinging is going to. Fly ball, high right field. Camping under at this Nativio for the first out. Easy fly ball to right field. She already had to move. Zoe Offie batting 400 on the year. Had a nice conversation with her dad. I believe it's Dave Offie or Mike. Sorry, Mr. Offie. I'm the, I'm, he's tuning this in, so he's here, but I'm, he list, likes to listen to the rebroadcast. Foul up out of play. Found out he played high school, uh, college hockey at Edinburgh. Did uh, Zoe's dad. Always like to find those little tidbits. Yes, you do. stories. I see both teams have their their arm rosters on. Swing and a miss at a high fastball. Count goes to 0-2. Yeah. Zoe also part of the basketball team and the volleyball team here at Shenango. Yeah, basketball team, very young this past winter. Comes the 0-2, that fouls it off. Yeah, talking to Mr. Offie, he said uh, they were playing New Brighton the other day, and they New Brighton, not the strongest of softball teams, but their pitcher was kind of slow, you know, not, didn't have a lot, of, a lot of heat on them, and they were having problems adjusting because a lot of times you have to move up in the batter's box. They didn't want to make those adjustments, but they finally got the hang of things. They said they'll probably have a lot of – might have a lot more luck with a harder throw in Addie Fry here today, hopefully. Pitch goes outside. Addie does throw some heaps. She has a nice change up, too. Well, she's off to Providence at the end of her career here. Foul ball back to the screen. 
That's a D1 and only a junior. But she'll be off to Providence to play her high school ball. She was Addie Fry. She was the 2023 the HSN, HSSN Player of the Year last year for softball. Oh, what a change up strike three. <laughs> Zoe goes down. That's That shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> that third, pitch was beautiful. 14, Talking about pulling a string. Brianna Lucia checks in. Batting third here today. I don't think Zoe was think that pitch was going to happen. First pitch says a strike. Yeah, Addie Fry last the other day. Thank you, Mr. Dawson. 28 pitches, 28 strikes. <laughs> Not better control than that. Comes the 0-1. That's fouled back to the screen. Of course, when you know in nine strikeouts. In nine strikeouts, yeah. Of course, when you and I don't want to take anything from the, the opposing team, but when you know you're the opposing team's not the strongest in hitting. You, I mean, you go after them. There's no, you just throw strikes and go for it. And it goes up outside. I mean, these, because these are high school kids. You don't want to, you know, don't want to. I'm not one to boo professional players either, but that's another subject for another day. <laughs> Here comes the one, two, swing and a miss, strike three. Three up, three down. We played one, no score, or, or one nothing to Shannon. Watching score, high school softball here at the Lawrence one. County Sports Shanahan Network, powered zero. by Hellcat. Cold winds blowing, temperatures dropping, and snow is beginning to fall. And then your furnace goes out. Hellcat's Lie Heat Crisis Program is here to help. If your furnace is blowing cold air, not turning on, or not reaching the desired temperature, help is right around the corner, whether it needs fixed or replaced. For information, call the Department of Healthy Homes at 724-656-0090. LCAP's Healthy Home Programs are the key to safer living. GEM Building Contractors and Developers have a proven record of performance on any size project. They bring value, local craftsmanship, expert management to meet any challenge. From design construction, from inspection to budget estimation, GEM Builder has been building our community for 70 years. Here at Shenango, the teachers and staff love their Wildcats. In the classroom, are wearing the blue and gold, we have their back, and we wish the Cats the best this season. This video is brought to you by the Shenango Area Education Association. And yeah, welcome back, top of the second inning. Gabby Parad steps in. Parad, one of our seniors here. Gabby Parad is Let's see here. Oh, two. And a nice diving catch before you get that out, Jay, <laughs> by the second baseman, Zoe Offey, for the first out of the inning. Up next, <laughs> I was going to say she's four, batting 400 Abigail for the year. Measles. How about Abigail Measles? You can go with that one. Okay, Abigail Measles, she is batting 667. Nope, I guess she's only batting 500. Abigail Measles off to Ashland University to continue her softball career. After this year, one out here in the top of the second inning. First pitch up outside, ball one. You see Kennedy Lynn go a little bit, trying for those outside, trying to keep it away from this Mechanic team. You don't want to bring it right down the middle in this team. They'll make you pay. Little dribbler out in front of the mound, and Kennedy Lynn will field that and get the second out of the inning. So good start here for Kennedy Lynn. And the Schnango Wildcats shape. She's Lancers, throwing strikes is what you got to do, and she's keeping Callie away from Biondi. the power right now. Callie Biondi, only a freshman. Getting the start here today. And as a shortstop, a freshman. That's that tough. shows you the talent she has. I'll tell you what, to start as a shortstop, you have to have a lot of talent. Yeah, she puts that one in the right field. Will she get the first? She will beat it out with a single. It's one thing in softball. Every once in a while, you see that right fielder gun out of a runner at first Allie base Giordano. on there. But 
Biondi oh. able to get that single. Bring up Ali Giordano. Biondi took right off as soon as she hit the ball. Sometimes they take the lollipop a little bit before they kick it in gear, and then you do get thrown out of first base. That is embarrassing. Giordano, she's going to be off the slippery rock to continue her career next year. So she'll be staying close to home. Did a little changeup ball fielded there by Alusha. Throws over the first the for the inning. So no runs on one hit. The score remains. No errors. And one, one minute left. It didn't have inning and a half. One nothing to Shanick. You're watching high school softball here in the Lawrence County Sports Network, powered by LCAP. At Medora Bonner Law, we're more than just attorneys. We're your community partners. With a combined experience that spans decades, attorneys Jason Medor, Michael Bonner, and Greg Rossitelli are your trusted advisors for all legal matters. From personal injury to estate planning, business law to family disputes, we are here to guide you through every step of the legal process. Our full-service, community-based approach ensures that you're not just a client, but a valued member of our family. Give us a call or visit us online at MedorBonnerLaw.com for more information. Contractors, the Department of Healthy Homes needs you. From small to large residential projects, you can help families live safer and healthier with the quality work you do. It's rewarding in more ways than one. Call LCAP's Department of Healthy Homes today. And yeah, welcome back to Shenango High School. one nothing. Mechanic leading Shenango. Good start here for both these pitchers and Lynn and Fry, the Jay. For the They're both the throwing strikes, Kennedy, which is the most Lynn. important thing when softball. You Kennedy don't want to fall behind. Kennedy Lim will come up the plate. She's two for eight this early season. I have her batting 462. And we, we had Kennedy Lynn on a broadcast here, Jay, during the winter season. And not just for basketball, because she's not on the basketball team. She's on the bocce team here at Shenango, is Kennedy. <laughs> yes, she was. I think we did a bocce game with her. Yes, we did. We, we had a home. Comes the 0-1, that's just a little, just a little high. Yeah, and her sister Reagan, also part of the softball team here, is on that bocce team here at Shenango. Swing and a miss, strike two. Yeah, we get to see the uh, the awards handed out when we were out in Hershey for the state championships. No Lawrence County teams this nope. year. No, Peters Township uh, made it out there from this area. Swing and a miss, strike three. Second, third strikeout, three in a row for Addy Fry. Well, it must get boring to be an now outfielder. Catcher, six, <laughs> if you're playing at the Shannon and McKenna Emmerich steps in. Yeah, you're probably going to try to stay awake when they're when she's on a mound, you don't get much action. McKenna looking for her first hit of the year. She's on the basketball team and the volleyball team is McKenna. Fouls this one off. I think it'd be hard to concentrate with a pitcher like that, or like your center, but she's a little change up here. You don't see pitchers wear glasses too often either. Uh, but Addie chooses to wear, not wear the contacts. Comes the 0-2. Strike three. A lot of movement on that pitch too, Jay. Yeah, she came with the fastball. Now like on that the fastball, baseman, well, you can 16, see it. Just the, some movement on that. Four strikeout in a row. Bring up the sister, Reagan Lynn. Mentioned she's part of that bocce team. She's a lefty, unlike, her, unlike Kennedy. Reagan Lee comes in batting 182. Yeah, team batting average only 188 on the year for uh, Shenango, so not really getting it done offensively right now. This is a young team also. Pitch outside. Mentioned the Shanick with only three seniors. Shenango only with one senior. But they only have, what, 12 in the roster, I believe. Yeah, yeah a lot of injuries. So we're going to pitch that was outside, strike two. And Reagan check, checks her wrist coach. And Addy checks hers. And here comes the pitch that's outside. So not 28 for 28 here today, but still throwing strikes is Addy Fry. 
Uh, you have to throw a ball occasionally. Lee. You're a former pitcher. You know that, too. Comes the one, two. Just getting a piece of it back from the screen. Next be a interesting. Bit off that pitch. You'll be interesting to see the second time around because they're, they're they're getting a lot of foul balls. To see the second time around, they might be able to make that adjustment and, and put some balls in play. Every second time around, that's fouled off. Yeah, not a bad. Did a nice job getting this field ready. I'm sure it was a lot of work. But they did an excellent job. Just gets a piece of that one, too. Probably was going to be outside, but Reagan wasn't sure. <laughs> well, she took a lot off in that pitch, too. Now what do you do? I look for heat. Comes that pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Strikes out the side. The, uh, no runs, no hits, no errors. We played two, one nothing to Shannick. You're watching high school softball here in the Lawrence County Sports Network, powered by LCAP. For 20 years, Mele Chiropractic has treated athletes of all ages to help them get safely back to the top of their game. Mele Chiropractic has three full-time doctors in their office, and all three are former area athletes who have had to battle injuries throughout their careers. They want to help you get safely back on your feet. But more importantly, Help stop the injuries before they happen. Prehab before you rehab. Attention all high school student athletes. During your sports season, a $30 visit to the Mailey Chiropractic office includes an adjustment and or all therapy is necessary. From the athletes of tomorrow to the weekend warriors and everything in between. Let Mailey Chiropractic keep you in the game. Up first this inning for Nishanik, the right fielder, number seven, Catherine Natibio. And welcome back to Shenango High School, top of the third. This day's broadcast being presented by Declan Stream. You can call Don Joseph at 724-730-9506 or email DeclanStream at gmail.com. Brings up the ninth, the number nine hitter in Catherine Natibio. Catherine came into the game, batting 333. Takes a first pitch strike in the inside quarter. Catherine was a second team all section volleyball player in the fall from the Shannock. One nothing here in the top of the third. Yeah, this crowd's really fouled in nicely for this uh, fundraiser today by for Declan Stream. Swing and a miss, strike two. Looks like took a little off that pitch. Yeah, the red zone's here selling t-shirts. I already have enough T-shirts right now, but if you don't, you know, it goes to a good cause. Comes the 0-2. Is up outside. And between all the soft state softball shirts for her, she hits 28 of those. 12 state championship serves for the North for North Allegheny. Got a softball championship for the Shannock for state title. And you got a state title for basketball for Union. And one for Union. We got to do that pitch up high. So we, we have a lot of gray shirts <laughs> sitting in my closet. And then the Shenang the dogs versus cat game that we had. And uh, was that basketball or I think it's the basketball that it was. Yes, basketball. Swing and a miss, strike three. It's a third strike out of the day. Where Kennedy Lynn brings the top of the order up in Miley five, Anderson. Anderson. Kennedy's really moving the ball in and out, up and down, and changing speech. He's doing a nice job so far. Yeah, I couldn't pass up that shirt for the, the cat versus dog game <laughs> that the red zone created. Second time through the lineup, see what Nishanik does to change the, the way the game's going. That's up a little outside ball one. Again, third baseman, Alusha in. And ball goes underneath the glove of Alusha for a base hit. I think that surprised her. Or are we going to give an error on that? I can't give an error on that. Uh, we're going to go E5. We'll see what the... Up next for the Lancers, the center fielder, number one. Our PA, announce no game. Our PA announcer says E5. We're going to go E5. 
Bring up Jade Noge. Yeah, you're outvoted, Jay. Okay. <laughs> it's not the first time. Yeah. Runner takes off there, and she's going to easily slide in there. Good backup. The ball gets into center field, and Anderson's going to get the third safely. There's another error on the play. One on the catcher, you can see her the throw get down there, sliding in the third safety. So Anderson on third with one out. See if Nogue can get this runner in. Infield's going to still play back and concede the run here, which is interesting. Nogue bunts it and goes foul. I thought maybe they might, with Addie Fry in the mound, I thought maybe the infield will play in the whole way. Or Lynn's on, on the mound. Excuse me? Lynn's on the mound. Yeah. I, you said Addie Fry. Oh, on the okay, mound. Fry. Oh, okay, well, we got to. Uh, out of play. We got overruled, Jay. What? You're right. Game changer gave him a single. Okay, I thought so, it should be. So we'll give we'll go with a single. Okay. We can we can agree to disagree. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, we, always, just, we always have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up outside, two two count now on no gay. You can't always agree with everything. Yeah. So third hit of the game for the Shannock. See if nobody get this run in. Pitch up high. Should be a full count, I believe. Waiting for the umpire to give the signal. I forgot to bring my, my ball counter today. My clicker. You're slipping, Lee. <laughs> First game of the year. Counts 2-2. Two -two. There's a shot, an RBI <laughs> to Sheba single. For Jaden Nogue, she's two for two. Batting it's two nothing. The pitcher, number eight, Addie Fry. Right back through the middle. First to Shiba RBI of the day, making it two nothing. Nice hard shot right up the center. Went with the pitch. Addie Fry mentioned she's off the price. She's the youngest of seven children, is Addie Fry. That's a one big family. First pitch a little outside. Catcher Emmerich was going to throw the ball down to first, but luckily I'm glad she held it. Well, no gaze a threat at any time. There she goes. She got a great jump easily. Easy stolen base for Jaden. Second so stolen base of the day. Counts one and one on Addy Fry. I said I'm surprised, surprised Gabby Moore not playing deeper in left field. Pitch way outside. I think Nogay could have got third base. She would have took off that one. Yeah, her sister Erlen at Bowling Green and her sister, older sis, oldest sister, Nalia at Fordham. Causing havoc there. Nalia's already got 16 stolen bases this year. And Jaden has 12 <laughs> early on in the year. Ground ball, hard hit. Fielded there by Herb, Herb. and she gets nice the great play. play. Our Mailey chiropractic play of the game nominee right there. Looked like Herb was going to throw the ball over the first and fakes out no gay completely and tags her out. So the fielder's choice. She didn't have like a, a six unassisted. By Castle Asphalt. Of your building project, not with Creative Edge Architecture. From concept to creation, Jeff Measle will help tackle the complex problem, creating design solutions and construction experience. Creative Edge gives you the edge design and construction meet. When it comes to shopping for insurance, there are thousands of options out there. MVP Insurance proactively shops and compares your policies to find the best coverage and rate. 
Josh Mathur, and David Verratti want to provide you with the level of personalized service that you know that you are the MVP of their agency. They simplify insurance so you can live stress-free. Visit one of the locations in Zemeliopol or in New Springfield, Ohio. Call MVP for the win. Proud sponsor of the MVP of the game on the Lawrence County Sportsnet. Shenango Township Supervisor Frank Augustine helped make Declan's dream a reality. 22 new acres have been added to the Shenango Park and a new handicap accessible playground is being built off of Old Pittsburgh Road as well as pavilions for families to use free of charge. That's what this game's all about today. Declan Stream, you called Don Joseph at 724-730-9506. Three, four, five hitters coming to the bottom of the fourth. Brianna Lucia struck out her first time up. Takes a first pitch strike. Yeah, Addie Fry doing a, a little manicuring at that uh, pitcher's mound area. Getting a little soft out front where landing spot on her up high. See the mud in her cleats. So it's a little mushy, but like I said they did a they have a fantastic job getting this field ready today. When I pulled in, I couldn't believe how good it looked. Goes out of play, and that's exactly why I moved my car, Jay. <laughs> You're a smart man, Lee. I I lost a, a windshield one one year parking too close to the softball field at a tournament. Comes the one, two. Goes outside. I made $100 for the tournament, and I had to pay $100 for the windshield. So, so it, was a, it was a free weekend, unfortunately. Plus, you probably got some knee at the tournament, too, so you lost more. Oh, yeah. Gunk goes the one, two, swing and a miss. It's still amazed at the, the movement that she has on that fastball. Up next for Shenango, the pitcher, number eight. We're Kennedy sitting up high, so you could really see that movement on it. Yeah, she definitely has a lot of movement in all her pitches. Seven strikeouts as Kennedy Lynn steps in. She's one of those seven strikeout victims today for Addy Fry. Almost everybody you talk to has struck out against her. Everybody in the lineup. Yeah, only Emma Herb and Gabby Moore in buckle right now. It's a six out of the nine. A struck out against Addy Fry here today. It's outside. Yeah, Prod's doing a nice job of framing those pitches too. We noticed that more and more in the major leagues, the catchers really moving that glove. Maybe yes. watching some of those games. I've been watching. I mean, it's becoming an art now. Until the robots come, then it's not going to matter. <laughs> That's coming soon enough. I know. It's yeah, they're they're trying that out with the minor league, a couple of the minor league uh, leagues that they have robot umpires. You agree with that or not, Lee? I don't like it at all. I don't either. Pitch up outside the taking the human factor out of the game. Nah, I, yeah. It's all about money, in my humble opinion. Everything's so. about money, unfortunately. Fly ball is going to go out of play. Yeah, no, you want to get the call right. No, you don't. You do, but, you know, it's it's about that $20 bet. <laughs> <coughs> Counts 2-2. Two, two. Comes the pitch. Strike three, another strikeout. Next up for Next Shenango, number eight number is six. McKenna Emmerich will step McKenna in. Emmerich. No, I, I don't want no part of replay anywhere. That's just my humble opinion. Just take so much out of the game, and you get a nice game, and they start and replay. You get a, and, and you get a flow of the game, and yeah. it's like, oh, wait a minute. We want to look at that, you know, foul ball. In any sport, college football is insane because you could it, it wants replay. It seems like you could do a re, uh, check it check calls on every play almost you're allowed to do that you don't get no flow like you said it yeah. just takes the game I mean naturally the refs or umpires are going to get a call wrong occasionally but they do their best they're right more than they're wrong 
Well, you're, you're a previous, you know, you umpired quite a bit, and you know what the, what it's called. And I, have an ump, and I have an umpire standing beside me, too. I mean, you're, you're right more than you're wrong. You, the, the only problem is people remember the wrong one. That's all. Just missed the corner. Ooh. Thought that was strike three. I think Emmerich thought it was going to be two. <laughs> Looked like she took a step towards the dugout. Yeah, yeah the robot might have called it. <laughs> But not Mr. Greer. Looked a little high to me, but count goes one, two. Fly ball's going to drop foul along the fence line. Mr. Dawson out in center field trying to adjust that camera. It's always on the run. He can't sit in one spot. It's like his three year old at home, you know? <laughs> Dawson Jr. Comes the one, two. That's up outside. Ball two. I guess Mr. Natal came in to uh, be our producer, so we will have a couple spots. Comes the 2-2. Two -two. Line drive goes foul. <laughs> Emmerich wanted that one. Yes, she did. She went with the pitch. It was outside. She went with just, she just couldn't keep it at fair territory. Trying to think if there's any ball. Yeah, Zoe Hoff. Actually, there's no ball that's been pulled yet today. Zoe Hoff, he's, she's a left handed hitter. So no one's really getting around on, on Addy Fry. Change up, ground balls, third baseman. Quinn throws over, gets the out. Nice play by Gabby Quinn. Three up, three down. We played four. Two nothing to Shannon. You're watching high school two. softball here on Lawrence County zero. Sports Network, powered by El Cap. Don't get left out to dry. Call the Penn Ohio Bottled Water Company for the fastest and most efficient bottled water delivery service in the area. Penn Ohio offers bottled water ranging from 16.9 ounce bottles to five gallon jugs, perfect for your next event or office water cooler system. Also, don't forget to ask about their custom labeling options. Visit PennOhioBottledWater.com for more information and to get a quote on their delivery services. Whether it's at home, in the office, or on the sidelines, Penn Ohio has you covered. Cold winds blowing, temperatures dropping, and snow is beginning to fall. And then your furnace goes out. LCAP's LIHEAP Crisis Program is here to help. If your furnace is blowing cold air, not turning on, or not reaching the desired temperature, help is right around the corner, whether it needs fixed or replaced. For information, call the Department of Healthy Homes at 724-656-0090. LCAP's Healthy Home Programs are the key to safer living. And welcome back to Shenango High School. Declan Streams, a nonprofit with the shared vision of inclusivity, community, and a well being of our residents. Regardless of their abilities or challenges, they broke ground on a new playground here in Shenango Township. They will break barriers, forge connections, and lay the foundation for a better tomorrow. So that's Declan's dream. You call Dom Joseph, 724 730 950. Six, we have a pinch hitter in Giada Capibianco. A sophomore gonna be pinch hitting for Nativio, so I'm sure Nativio will come back in the right field. But Capi Bianco takes first pitch strike. She doesn't have a hit in a year. She's 0 for 2 so far in a year. 0 for 2? Yes. Okay. But she's walked twice. Ground ball, shortstop. Herb makes the throw over. So she's been doing all Up day. The the first the out of the inning. Number five, Miley Anderson. Herb's playing a very good shortstop today. Top of the order, Miley Anderson. One for two. Our PA announcer and I, we think she's 0 for two, but she's one for two. <laughs> I have her for one for two. <laughs> did score a run, though. Yes, she did. They said she was seventh in the 60 meter in the indoor track championships. Didn't want to bunt it, but unfortunately got a piece of it, so it fouls it off. 
Tried to pull that bat back, but a little bit too late. <laughs> Coach Fry's like, come on. Or Coach Nogay's like, what are you doing? So he's got the little uh, ribbon on the air, like the girls. Yes, I love did. it. Yes, I do too. I th thought you'd mention it eventually. A pie ball one with the purple ribbons in the hair. And Shenango with the, uh, the yellow ribbons. Back in the days, you weren't allowed to wear those, but they've allowed different things in, in the high school softball now. In all high school sports, yeah. that stuff go that back in the day, you couldn't do it. Pitch inside. The thing is, they, they have to be the same color. That, that, that puts, I don't know why they do all that stuff, but they, it has to be, so as long as it's one, everybody has that purple one, couldn't have gold and purple, you know, so it has to be all the same color. Comes 2-1. Strike. Strike at the knees. Count goes 2-2. Two, two. Tried to butt that ball was underneath it. Ball was right underneath the bat. One out here in the top of the fifth. 2-0 to Shannick. Very competitive game here today. Comes the pitch. Anderson, dribbler first base. Will get she beat it out. She will with that great speed. Infield single for Miley Anderson. Batting now for the Lancers, the center fielder. That's Number the speed one, we were talking Jayden. about, Jay. Okay. Just a little dribbler. First baseman, Reagan Lynn. She, she took three steps over. That cost her. There's no game. We'll step in two for two. Second baseman tried to cover, but wasn't there in, in time at all. Now you see why Anderson's the leadoff hitter, no game. Steps in, has that RBI today. I believe no gave the leadoff here last year. Yes. I believe, yeah, and then Erland batted second, I believe, yes. last year. Yes, I can remember that. Yeah, Erland at Bowling Green right now. She's batting 292 on the year so far, Bowling Green. Puts the bunt down, it's the perfect one. There's no chance. Forget it, when the ball rolls eight feet out in front of the base. With no gay speed, it was Batting a done deal. The Shannick, the pitcher, number eight, and, and away Brock. from the play, a very heads up play by Gabby Moore. Coming in from left field to cover the third base bag. If she doesn't do that, Anderson's gonna be on third. So it's a good, good fundamental softball there, Jay. The Lancers are, or Shenang was playing very fundamental softball all day making the right throw, and Gabby. And now you're going to have some problems here with Addie Fry. Chance to break this game open. Ground ball fielded by third baseman. Alusha steps on third oh, double no. play. <laughs> Brianna Alusha steps on third. Strong throw over, gets out of the jam. Throws a strike to first. No runs, two hits, no errors, and one left. We played four and a half. It's two nothing to Shannick. You're watching high school softball here at the West Valley Sports Network, powered by LCAP. In workers' compensation, my clients are oftentimes not receiving their wage loss. They're not receiving their medical expenses. In LGKG, they come to us so that we can put them in a position to pay their bills. If we're keeping our promises, our clients are getting the justice they deserve. Works in Progress Painting wishes a successful and satisfying season to all the Lawrence County sports teams and athletes. Work hard and bring honor to your team, school and family and how you play. Joe Wright and his family have been providing painting, window cleaning and other property services for business and homeowners in the Lawrence County area for over 10 years. Their goal on every project is to provide a meaningful service that honors their customer, God and their family and to have fun while doing it. Works in Progress is now booking interior painting projects for both residential and commercial projects. Call Joe today at 724-714-4294 to discuss your next project. Yeah, welcome back to Shenango High School. 2-0, bottom of the fifth. Yeah, and the Tivio back in the right field which we assumed. And Jay, we didn't get a chance to talk to, about our works in progress keys to the game today. And I mean, one of them was gonna be, you know, try to limit, shut down this Deshanic offense. First pitch that's gonna hit. 
Reagan Lynn. But yeah, part of that. Up next for Shenango, the right They played good, two, solid defense and yeah, limit the errors if, if you can. And they've only had that one error, but they've, they've really played well defensively. Yeah, both teams have played very well in the field, made some very intelligent plays. Like the last play in the last inning, stepping on third and going to first. That doesn't happen a lot. Yeah, and Ken Kennedy Lynn, she's been in control. I mean, she's she's done great as uh, Cooper Buckle will step in. Kenny is Buckle fouls this off out of play. Oh, I think it hit that guy, but he's just laughing about it. She has one of the two hits of the game for Shenango. And they both were singles, too. Yeah, Cooper, boy, she, she fought off a lot of pitches, if you remember her first at bat the, before she finally was able to get that single late behind on that one, strike two. That was one of ones right up the middle. At the end of this game, we'll have our MVP insurance player of the game and our melee chiropractic play of the game. Comes the 0-2. Ground ball is going to find its way through the infield for a base hit, possibly, but it's going to be out at second base. It's going to turn into a fielder's choice because of the strong throw by Catherine Natibio from right field. Now up for Shenango, the center fielder. Number yeah, Reagan Lynn got a late start, making sure that ball wasn't going to be caught, and then couldn't get the second on the strong throw. So play goes 9 6 on the force out, and it turns into a fielder's choice for Cooper Buckle. Nice play by the Tivio, Jay. I'll tell you what, she just come up with that ball and she knew what she wanted to do with it right away. Like you said, said she got, Lynn got a slow break off of first base and she was beaten by at least three steps. So Cadence Christopher steps in with one out that here is in the bottom four, of the fifth. That is a force out and not a slide, so that's, that's one reason. And that's why it's the fielder's choice. Yes. It wasn't the hardest hit ball, but Nativia did a nice job charging. I thought maybe she might try to go to first, but she yeah, had the heads up play and saw that Lynn was far off from second base and took a chance there to get the force out at second and got it. I don't think she would have got the, the out at first base. I don't think so either. Half-hearted swing by Christopher comes up missing strike two. I don't think she would have had it at first either. His buckle, she got out of the batter's box very quickly. Like you said, Lynn sort of hesitated. And then once she get, didn't get started, it, it, it was about three or four steps before second base. Counts one and two. That's strike three. Number nine. Second time Christopher struck out. Now up the left fielder, number one, Gabby Moore. Bring up Gabby Moore. Uh, 0 for 0 right now. She had a sacrifice in the third inning. Only a sophomore. Bat number nine here today. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. First pitch, swing and a miss. We're gonna have a tough choice for a player of the game here today. I have an idea, but. A lot of game left. Yes. That's a swing and a miss too. If you like to try to move move the player of the game around if you can, but if it's obvious, real obvious, you got to go there. Unfortunately, yeah. I know a couple different times. I do something so I can make you the player of the game or player of the game. Well, how about strikeout number ten for Addy Fry? Through five. The Shannon no runs, Shannon no hits, no zero. errors, and one left. We played five. It's two nothing to Shannock. You're watching high school softball here at the Lawrence County Sports Network, powered by LCAP. For 20 years, Mele Chiropractic has treated athletes of all ages to help them get safely back to the top of their game. Mele Chiropractic has three full-time doctors in their office, and all three are former area athletes who have had to battle injuries throughout their careers. They want to help you get safely back on your feet, but more importantly, help stop the injuries before they happen prehab before you rehab. Attention all high school student athletes. During your sports season, a $30 visit to the Mailey Chiropractic office includes an adjustment and or all therapy is necessary. From the athletes of tomorrow to the weekend warriors and everything in between. 
Let Maley Chiropractic keep you in the game. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. The Two the nothing. The Shannick scored one in the first, thanks to a pass ball, stolen base, and a and a uh, error. Or excuse me, a pass ball. Yeah, stolen base and a wild pitch in the first inning. Jaden Nogay scored, and an RBI single by Jaden Nogay in the third. That's all we have, two nothing as Gabby Quinn steps in. Takes a first pitch strike. Gabby 0 for two with two strikeouts so far. Seven hits for the Shannock so far today. Only but two runs though. Shenango on the other hand with two hits. Shenango has been staying in this game with defense. The first two hits in the Shannon's, the Shenango, or the Shannon's given up all year. Gabby swings and misses at that one. Count goes to one and two. Gabby Quinn struck out twice here today. Looked down at third base, coach shaking her head. She knew she should have had that one. Comes the one, two. Line drive, right field, oh. a diving catch by right fielder, Cooper Buckle. Now up for Nishanik, the catcher. Check out that team. replay. Gabby Tell you what, that, I don't know if she thought she was going to have. She just stuck her glove out and went right in her glove. That was probably a hard hit ball, hit ball of the day. Another Mealy Chiropractic nominee play of the game. The Shenango showing the gloves here today, staying in this one only down two nothing as Gabby Parad steps in. First pitch of ball. Yeah, Buckle looks like she misjudged it a little bit, but then made the adjustment at the end. Once again, that big glove, it wasn't coming out. Pop up, infield. Lynn will make the catch for the second out. Next up for Nishanik, the first baseman, number four, Abigail Measle. And Abigail Measle steps in with two outs. She's 0 for 2 in the day. So Nishanik offense can't get together yet. Can't get it all together. It's got two runs. I thought the last thing is they come up with a couple runs, but nice play by Shenango, the third baseman, to get the double play, take him out of the inning. Yeah, Lucia's been solid over there. Nice change up to strike one. Yeah, Lucia, four ground outs to uh, Lucia in third base today. And she has missed one of them. It was at the start of that double play to end the fifth. Balls, a, that's a strike in the corner. Emmerich having problems with that, but no one on base, so no big thing. Count goes to 2 Lynn is really moving the ball around and changing speeds is the biggest thing. Keeping the Shannon batters off, off stride. Comes the 0-2. That tries for that outside corner. Couldn't get it. Two nothing here in the top of the sixth inning. She's thrown two very few center cut pitches. Most of them either inside or outside. Comes the one two. That's gonna find its way between short and third for a two out single for Abigail Measle. Next up for Nishanik. Bring up the top, freshman who has two hits, Calabiondi. A single and a double. Her double was a well hit ball to right field her last time up. Yeah, freshman getting her feet wet and doing well. And she's played a nice short, too. There's a strike at the knees. Just a little outside. Yeah, Kennedy came in with an ERA over 4-5. I think it was 4-7-8. 
coming in in this game. Of course, my stats were off, so I'll let you uh, give it, get the ERA of Kennedy Lynn. 336. 336, okay. Yep. Ground ball. It's going to find its way in the center field around second. As Measle bobbled in center field, but it's not going to prevent it. Now the, the overthrow from the infield is going to allow Biondi to get down the now second base. So the, the E8 two, allows that Biondi to get the second. Measle, I thought she was going to come around after Christopher bobbled the ball in center field, but they decide the holder. So two outs bring up Ali Giordano. Looks like she's hesitated. I don't know why she came into third base. And didn't even seem like she was going to any idea going on. And heads up play by Biondi to get the second and a first pitch strike. I think she could have come home easily. I was expecting her to take it around, but uh, of course I was watching the center fielder and watching a throw coming in. Did not see if the coach held her or, or what happened there. She just looked like she slowed down coming into third base. Well, that pitch was going to be inside, and Giordana fouls it off. Count goes to 2 Kennedy Lynn's worked out of some jams here. She got out of a jam in the fifth. Got a double play. Biondi got stranded at second in the fourth. Giordano has two ground out balls to third base so far today. Grounds this one right back to Lynn, and Lynn's going to get out of this jam also. Through five and a half. No Shannon runs, two, two hits, goes, had an error. Two men left. We played five and a half. It's still 2 nothing to Shannick. Watching high school softball here in the Lawrence County Sports Network, sponsored by Declan Stream and the Lawrence County Sports Network. When it comes to shopping for insurance, there are thousands of options out there. MVP Insurance proactively shops and compares your policies to find the best coverage and rate. Josh Madour and David Verratti want to provide you with a level of personalized service that you know that you are the MVP of their agency. They simplify insurance so you can live stress-free. Visit one of the locations in Zemeliopol or in New Springfield, Ohio. Call MVP for the win. Proud sponsor of the MVP of the game on the Lawrence County Sportsnet. Firefly Solar is a proud sponsor of LC Sportsnet. From our regional business partnership to our community benefits agreement with local schools, Firefly Solar is dedicated to being an outstanding neighbor and beacon of economic support for the Lawrence County community. Let's create a stronger energy infrastructure while preserving the agricultural beauty of Lawrence County. Visit FireflySolarPA.com for more info about the Firefly Solar project. Firefly Solar, creating a brighter future in Lawrence County. And the top of the order here for Shenango, as you can see the Declan's Dream uh, stand that we have here today. Selling a lot of t-shirts and everything going towards Declan's Dream. It's a town, the, the Shenango Township Playground as that ball's laced into right field and it will beat it out for a base hit will be Emma Herb. So she's two for three. Up next, the second baseman, number nine, Zoe. Oppie. Declan Streams, a nonprofit with a shared vision of in inclusivity, community, and well being of the residents, regardless of their abilities or challenges. They broke ground on a new playground here in Shenango Township that will break barriers, forge connections, and lay the foundation for a better tomorrow. So you can email Don Joseph at DeclanStream at gmail.com. Zoe Offy steps in, first pitch is the ball. Shenango J only down two nothing. They have three hits, and Emma Herb has both of them, or two out of the three hits. <laughs> That's the Butler math. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Square around the bunt gets it down, and it will go foul. I'm sort of surprised that and they're down two runs and trying to move that runner in the scoring position being down two here in the bottom of the sixth. Uh, I think they want to make sure at least get at least get one run in. Well, the pitcher of Fry, I mean, it's, it's tough to get any run. She hasn't given up a run yet this year. 
Ground ball, third baseman. Quinn throws the second in, it's high, goes into the left center, right center field. On the third will be Emma Herb. Fielder's choice for Zoe Offie. For I'm going to give the error the to uh, Giordano, Jay. It looked like a pretty Brianna good throw, Alusha. don't you think? The second base are like a little high. I thought it was high myself. E5? I'd, I'd say E5. We'll go E5, okay. We all agree. I was a little... I did. I was looking down at my score, looking over here, so I just saw the high throw. I didn't quite see how high it was. So I will go with you. So an E5... The LG KG consultation between the players. Not a trip to the mound by the coaches, but LG KG consultation with the players. First and third. Nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. And Brianna Lucia struck out twice. Is up. I think she should have went the first with that throw, but she wanted to get the lead runner. Lucia squares the bunt, the strike, and. Taken off of the easy stolen base is Zoe Offie. With nobody at second base, quite easy. Now they're conceding. Yep. Let's see what play they have on now. Infield stays back. Corners are in. Catches the corner, strike two. <laughs> That's a tough pitch for Alusha right there. Alusha struck out twice against fry so far today. She needs to make some contact, get at least one of them runs in. If she can get the ball past third or first, they will get a run in. Comes the 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Went chasing. Good pitch there for Addie Fry. The plate for the Wildcats. The Way pitcher, outside. Kennedy, Lynn. 11th strikeout of the day for Addie Fry. And we have our offensive conference. We'll call it an LG KG consultation. That's Kennedy Lynn. She'll step in. She struck out twice. Shenaga needs a big hit here. At least get one of these runs in. Just make contact if you can. You never know what can happen. 2 nothing here in the Shannock. Square to bunt, gets it down, it's a safety squeeze. Throw to first, the runner just got to try and come home. And what a great slide. But no, she said he did not hit the plate. And she's out. I don't. Wow. So the play goes three. Through six. The Shannon two. One, Shenango three. Zero. And then Emma Herb gets thrown out at home. Play goes three, two. No runs on one hit, one error, and one left. We played. For more than 120 years, people have relied on Martindale Hubble's preeminent rating to select their attorneys. If you've been involved in an automobile accident, you should do the same. At LGKG, we have been preeminently rated for over 40 years. I think the key to any attorney-client relationship is trust. My father told me a long time ago, the definition of personal integrity, it's really simple. Do what you say you're going to do. At LGKG, we've been doing that for over 80 years. So welcome back to the last. You can see this play at the plate at home. The umpire said she did not touch the plate she slid past the plate, but you can see from our angle here yeah. that possibly, I mean, from umpire's judgment, said she did not touch the plate. So it goes down as an out, unfortunately, for Shenango. So we go to the seventh inning, 2 nothing. Shenango will bring up 9-1-2. It took a good throw, though, Lead Jay, by first baseman and, and uh, Abigail right Measel. She seven. threw a strike to home and Parade. Parade made a nice, nice tag. And she was on, and smart enough to even hit her after she went past, slid past home plate. Well, you, you did not hear the umpire say safe. Yes. So there, there was your cue right there. 
First pitch is fouled. That's textbook umpiring right there, too, by the, by the umpire. You, you knew you're supposed to hesitate. You don't call safe right away. Just hesitate a little bit to, to give a chance, to, you know, to basically alert the, the team that they did not, you know. But then if she gets up and walks off, then they, you know you got a safe call. But that, that hesitation a little bit, the umpire gave Parade the clue that, hey, I got she, she didn't touch the plate. Strike two. And she was able to tag her. And the Shenango coach and staff and some of the fans not happy with the call, but referee right in position to make that call. Tivia is going to bat this time. Yeah, she's back in the game with a yep. re-entry. Yep. Just misses. I mean, for our angle up here, we, we thought maybe a different call, but we're up above. He's right down below. For those you think you can do better, go to PIAA.org. Strike three. Click on how to become official. Take your test because they need them very badly. Up next, the one out here hitter, the left fielder, number five, Miley in the top Anderson. of the seventh. Bring up the top of the order, Miley Anderson. Anderson, one for three in the day. Or two for three in the day, excuse me. Singled in the third, singled in the fifth. There's a foul. Officially two for three, unofficially one for three. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming, Lee. <laughs> Both the other people in the press box disagreed with me. <laughs> two nothing to Shannon here in the top of the seventh inning. A little flare is going to be missed by the shortstop. And Herb, and she's going to pick up that ball quickly because Anderson was looking to take the extra base. Did not. So plate, third hit of the day for, one, for Miley Anderson. No gay up to bat, and she has three hits so far, too, on the afternoon. Yep. Anderson, a junior. No gay, a sophomore, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah, pretty good when your uh, top two hitters have six hits. And Noge puts it down, it's foul. Yeah, nine hits today and six out of the top two top two hitters. Noge does have some power. Surprising power, but she's not that big a stature. Ground ball's gonna find its way through the middle, and Anderson, look at the speed going around from second to third, and the throw comes in a little wild, and Noge heads up to make it to second base on that single. She's four for four in the day. Now off the pitcher, number eight, Addy Fry. I don't think they had a chance in the world to get Anderson at third base, so they should have probably went to second base. Yeah, throw just a little so, wild there. As soon as that ball headed towards third, no game was on the way to second. Oh, Anderson, boy, did she, but she got some hops, doesn't she? Oh, yes. I don't, I'd like to see her race between no game and Anderson. First pitch to strike Daddy Fry. Yeah, it'd be an interesting race between no game and Anderson. Maybe we could arrange that sometime. <laughs> I bet Sp they do. It's sponsored by Declan Stream? Yes. Daddy Fry, 0 for 3 in the day. Ground ball, come home with a throw, and that's going to be wide. So one run comes in. Fry's going to get down the second baseman on the E6, or E5, excuse me. So Lucia made a lot of good plays today. Unfortunately, makes her first error of the Coming day. The Fielder's the choice again for Addie Fry. Gabby, Quinn. Fry gets down the second base. Nogay ends up at third. Courtesy runner. Or courtesy runner. Number 10, Alina Frenzel, Alina Frenzel will pinch run, or excuse me, a courtesy runner for Fry. Bring up Gabby Quinn, who's 0 for 3. He got robbed of a hit last time in the sixth. She has two Ks to go with her getting robbed. There's a strike. I think that was a smart play to come home with that ball, but she just didn't have good control of it. Yeah, third inning of the game, third error of the game on Shenango. 
trying to really break this game open. Pitch down low. At the end of this game, we'll have our Melee Chiropractic Play of the Game, MVP Insurance Player of the Game. Pitch outside. Scoring recap sponsored by Gem Builders. It'll be a fairly quick scoring recap because <laughs> I got to run. Swing and a miss by Gabby Quinn, strike two. Yeah, I can talk Mr. Dawson in doing the post game for me. Uh, he has to move too. <laughs> yeah. Dunk goes 2 2. Off speed, strike three. Great pitch. Now off the catcher, number 14. First out of the Parade. inning. That's Bring up Gabby Parad, who's that's 0 for 3. That's the third time Quinn's going down on a strikeout. Yeah, rough day for Gabby. But if you ask her, she'll be happy with a 3 0 lead right now and come out with a victory. She'll take the rough day for a victory, I bet. Oh, yes. Because she's off to Kent State next year. First pitch just outside. She had the one hard hit ball to right field that made Buckle made the, ex the extra extraordinary play. That's outside ball two. Well, the good thing is games at North Allegheny, they don't usually start on time. So <laughs> He'll be working on the field for yeah. a while. That ball just fouled back. Yeah, the, probably the nicest softball field dirt-wise in, in Western Pennsylvania. For high school, for sure. Oh, I definitely. It's nicer than some colleges. Yeah, it's just a, they do a great Henry Yanetti down there. Does a great job taking care of those fields. Outside ball three. So hopefully he'll be fine tuning that field just a little bit for me. <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Gore can start without you. Yeah, I know, but I like lineups and everything, though. Yeah. Comes to 3 1. That's ball four. First walk of the day for either team. You can't now say that too often. Well. No. Number four, Abigail Measle. Base is loaded, and we will have a courtesy runner, I believe, here. Actually, a courtesy runner. It's going to be. Number 42. It could be Aubrey Rigoni. Courtesy runner for Parade. Number 42. Aubrey Rigoni. But base is loaded. 3 0 the Shannock. Measle, one for three on a day, two ground outs and a single. If you're playing back, fly ball, right center field, still going back, and it's going to go all the way to the wall, and that's going to score three runs, and Measle is going to end up with a three RBI triple. That breaks the game open. Unfortunately for Shenango, that ball was hard hit. Center field didn't have a chance. Now batting the shortstop, number 21. Callie, Six nothing to Shannock. And people are going to look at the score at the end of this one in the, in the local newspaper and say, wow, that must not have been a close game. But I think it's played well. And here comes the seventh run in. That's going to be a low throw over the first base. And that's going to be an E6 as beyond the old reach for the fourth time today. No RBI now there. Second baseman, number two, Ali Giordano. So Measle with those three Toshiba RBIs to break this game open. Herb took that ball up in the face. 
Ball's fouled off. Ninth player, the bat here in the seventh inning. Started good with a strikeout for Shenango, but it's going downhill from there. Well, you throw two errors in there and the big triple. Line drive, this oh. not fielded there by the shortstop, Emma Erb. I have to say another error, Lee. Uh, yep. Now yeah. batting the right fielder, number seven, Catherine Nativia. Yeah, Emma tried to catch the ball before she 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 saw first saw the runner in uh, beyond the leaning, or excuse me, Giordano. No, beyond the excuse me, she saw her off of first base. She had an easy double play, but unfortunately took her eye off the ball. And her LGKG consultation trip to the mound. Bring up Cat Nativio. So three errors here in this seventh inning. And five runs in from the Shannock. Tibia struck out to start the inning. Now she's up for a second time. Let's see if she's bunting here. Oh, swinging away. That's fouled off. And we're l luckily, all the cars have moved. <laughs> just, just missed that little girl walking over to this. Side there. Yeah, you got to be very careful. Those balls fly over there. Safe to park in the outfield for the most part here. Especially that 15 foot fence or whatever it is. Pitch outside. Seven nothing to Shannock. That's over 100 pitches for Lynn so far today. Popped up out of play. Yeah, I'm not usually too concerned about pitch count and softball because they can, you're, oh. you're throwing underhand. Yeah. But I understand, I mean, it's still a lot of pitches for a seven inning game for sure. But there is no pitch limit in high school softball or in any level for that matter. Swing and a miss by Nativio, strike three. Through six and a half innings, the Shannock seven, Shenango Five zero. runs. Three hits, three errors, one and two left. Contractors, the Department of Healthy Homes needs you. From small to large... Tired of gasoline costs? Why drive? Let the Newcastle Transit Authority take you where you want to go. Serving the city of Newcastle and stops throughout Lawrence County, as well as weekday service to Pittsburgh. Public transportation just makes sense. Why drive when you can relax and ride? For more information or for route schedules, log on to newcastletransit.org. The Newcastle Transit Authority, going your way. And remember, senior citizens ride free. Right now, someone very special needs your help. This is Jack Lynn, CEO of City Rescue Mission. No one is beyond God's love and care. One person's life can affect another. Though you may never meet this person, you can make a difference in his or her life. Hurting men and women in our community desperately need food, shelter, and physical and spiritual care. Some are struggling with abuse and addiction. They feel alone, unloved, and forgotten. Individual caring people provide their hope. You can help change the lives of men, women, and children. Visit CityRescueMission.org and help us today. Do or die for Shenango, down 7 nothing. Game sponsored by Declan's Dream. Frank Augustine, the supervisor in Shenango Township, helped make Declan's Dream a reality. 22 new acres have been added to the Shenango Park and a new handicap accessible playground is being built off of Old Pittsburgh Road as well as pavilions for families to use free of charge. Call Don Joseph, 724-738. 3095067247309506 or email DeclanStream at gmail.com to see what you can do with this great tribute for great organization and Declan Stream as McKenna Emmerich steps in over two. Goes to the ball. Just been informed, Jay, that Alexis Brewer was our 
Female Athlete of the Month for March. So congratulations to Alexis. Ball goes back off the screen. MVP Insurance Player of the Game and Melee Chiropractic Play of the Game after this. Got two nominations for our Play of the Game that we'll have to vote on. The play by, by Emma Erb that faked Jaden Nogue out completely and then the diving catch by right fielder Cooper Buckle. I like I liked your play myself. But. A little dribbler. Fry's gonna be able to handle that and get the out for the first out. And our player of the game is gonna be interesting now to see where we're gonna go with that one. Reagan, Lynn. One of those two, I think. We'll see. Yeah. Got probably three different choices we yep. could probably go with uh, this. So we will see where we have a quick talk on that because I got to ride down 79. <laughs> Dotson has a dinner to get to. First pitch to be fouled off. Yeah, we're getting votes all over the place. <laughs> what did he come up with? No, he, he he went with that one for the play of the game, but or player of the game. It broke the game open in the seventh. I'm going a little different direction, I think. Swing and a miss by Reagan Lynn. Falls behind one and two. So we'll have that quick recap at the end of this one. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Coming to bat, the right fielder, number two, Cooper Buckle. Twelfth strike out of the day for Addy Fry, who's not given up a run this year. Only given up three hits, and one of them was by Cooper Buckle. Pops it up, but it's going to go out of play. That just missed. I guess Mr. Dawson's out of here, huh? <laughs> so I guess I do got to wrap this up quickly. Oh, boy, Buckle way, really folding that one. Gunk goes the one, two. We'll take a quick break at the end of this one, and we'll be back with a, say a quick write-up. Just getting a piece of his buckle. She's been doing that all day, though, Jay. Yes. She just can't time her. Timed her on one. Let's see if Fry can get this third strike. Let's see what she comes up with this time. I say speed. No, uh, you were wrong. wrong Pulled the string for strikeout number 13. Three up, three down. We'll be back with our Gen Builders postgame show. You're watching high school softball here in Lawrence County Sports Center. After two shoulder surgeries, my doctor wanted me to go to his physical therapy, which was out of town, and I chose Washington Center Physical Therapy. The availability is More and more, people are consuming information on screens. Businesses that want to engage, educate, or entertain clients are turning to Toshiba to provide inspired communication with digital signage experiences that attract attention in novel and entertaining ways. 
information needs to be managed to be effective, and organizations can trust Toshiba to provide solutions for improved workflow, which help to securely store, organize, and manage information, whether in digital or physical form. Toshiba, empowering the art of business. And final score, Nashanik 7, Shenango nothing. A quick gem builder recap as Jaden Noge scored in the first inning on a, a pass ball, a hit, a pass ball, a stolen base, and a wild pitch. Made it one nothing. Anderson, Miley Anderson made it 2 nothing, where she singled, and then they go, they, Noge was able to bring her home, making it 2 nothing. And then the big five runs, five runs, seventh inning, scoring four. Five runs on just three hits. There was three errors in the inning. But the big three RBI triple J by Abigail Measle just broke this game open and secured the victory. She hit that ball, and as soon as she hit it, you knew that nobody's going to get a chance to catch that ball. It was the big hit because it was only 2 nothing at that point, and Shenango was staying right with them. They needed a big hit, and they got it. Seven runs, 12 hits, and one error from the Shanick. No runs, three hits, five errors for the Shenango Wildcats and – now quickly, we're going to hand out our Melee Chiropractic play of the game, Jay, and talk a little bit about the play by Emma Herb. Emma Herb, she had an excellent game at short, and the ball was a hard hit ball to her, and Noge was on second base, and as soon as she broke, Herb, just tur Herb turned around and ran right back and got her before she had a chance. And a very intelligent play because I didn't think Noge thought she had a chance in the world to do it. So the play of the game, maybe Chiropractic is proud to present the play of the game award to Herb of the Shenanig Shenango Lancers, or Shenango Wildcats, I'm sorry. Emma Herb, it, it made Chiropractic, Net, Lawrence County Sportsnet are proud to honor Emma for tonight's play of the game. Emma received a customized t-shirt, courtesy of the Red Zone, in recognition of tonight's play of the game. Video tonight's play of the game may also be featured on Trib Life High School Sports Network standout platform, Twitter and Instagram. To view tonight's Mady Chiropractic play of the game and a full list this season top plays, go online to lcsportsnet.com and click on play of the game. Congratulations, congratulations to Emma Herb of, of the Shenango Wildcats for tonight's Mady Chiropractic play of the game. Let Mady Chiropractic keep you in the game. And we could have cut a couple different ways for our, our player of the game. Addie Fry with 12 strikeouts. Miley Anderson yeah, she had, she was three for four. A couple runs scored, and but we're gonna go with Jaden Noge. She uh, four four for four today, two stolen bases, one RBI, two runs scored. I tell you what, she hit the ball hard every time too. Yeah, so she's our she's our MVP insurance MVP of the game award. I'd like to th uh, recognize Jaden Noge. For today's MVP of the game, she received a customized T-shirt, the one of many she's received <laughs> over the year. The red zone recognition of being named today's MVP of the game. You can view the full list of this year's game MVPs. Go online, lzsportsnet.com. Click on MVP of the game. Congratulations, Jaden Noge, for being named today's MVP of the game. NBC Insurance. Call them for the win. Final thoughts here, Jay. I'll tell you what, it was a well-played game for six innings. But Shenango just had the bad seventh inning with the three errors and giving up the five runs. So that's going to do it here from Shenango High School. Looks like we're going to be on the air just for a few more minutes because our producer left and the other producer is down taking pictures. So we'll keep the screen up on the uh, the uh, screen up, but we're going to we're going to call it a day here from. The Shanick High School, or from Shenango High School. Final score in the Shanick 7, 
and Shenango nothing. Want to thank Declan Stream, Declan Stream at gmail.com for making donations or anything, anything you, you can do for Declan Stream. So great, great organization, and try to get that, uh, make any donation you can possible again. Again, final score on the Shannock 7. Shenango nothing for my brother Jay Moon. For our producer Rob Natal and James Dawson, my name is Lee Moon. Have a great, every, great day, everybody.